Dr. Elmer, Advanced Neurospinal Solutions, and I've been asked several times about scoliosis model, because I use that term, uh, understanding what the model is and, and why it's so important that we have a clear vision of what it is. As you, as you know already, you've, if you've seen any of my videos, you understand that scoliosis is not a lateral curve, it's a corkscrew. In fact, the term I use is orthohelix. It's a torsional system, and it's the amount of torsion that I'm most interested in. The, the, the lateral curves, cervical curve, thoracic curve, lumbar curve, you have to fix those first. You have to put those back the way they should be, or if they never got them, to get them there. And then you're going to have to stabilize the, the system get it to be balanced where if you're zigging you're zagging and if you're zigging five you're zagging five and then you can unwind that scoliosis but the amount of torsion tells me how bad it is the you can have a, a large cob angle with very little torsioning compared to a small much smaller one that has more torsioning and they say well what is that torsion say that twisting on the x-ray when you see it on the x-ray, you're seeing a curve, but you're seeing the spinous processes go into that curve. And the farther they go inward, the worse that scoliosis is. And that's what I'm really worried about. Because kids can, you know, kids can handle uh, twisting better, little kids, little babies and little kids, can handle twisting better than we can as adults and even, even teens, but they, they've got a little laterality and they're in trouble and you do a little adjustment and bam, they're, they're sleeping, they were screaming, they're sleeping and they're getting over their sickness real fast. Well, in this case, torsioning on adults is very harsh. We showed you what happens in the torsion in the spinal cord in another video. I'll re-show it since I have it out. It takes the spinal cord and on the inside of the curve here, it's stretching the cord outward, which is going to really radically impact the blood flow in this, what we call the lateral horn or the, or the the thoracic, the thoracolumbar IML, which is your sympathetic nervous system area within the cord. And then over here it's stre stretching it uh, vertically up and down. And so it deforms that and you can see that. I, I mean, uh, I, I get MRIs all the time and I'll put them in my computer and, and look at them and you can literally see that distortion on the spinal cord. And that's what I'm really worried about. Well, why is it doing it? It's doing it because it had a stretch on it and everything was thinner. Whereas it's laterally curving and rotating. Well, it's laterally curving and rotating to, to get away from that stretch, but it can only go so far, particularly with the ribs. And so it has to go lateral and then rotate and, and it gets rid of some of the torsioning. It doesn't get all the torsioning everywhere. And so that's, that's the, the yucky part of scoliosis and the model of scoliosis. And the answer is to put the curve system back in the way it's supposed to, or in for the first time. Oftentimes it wasn't there in the first place. Putting that curve in causes the joints to meet together properly. Here, if we lose the curve, this is really common in scoliosis especially the upper lumbar, to have a reversal of the curve in that, in that area and that. But when we put the curve back in, we change the shape of the discs and that, and put the curve back in, these, I call it a lock and key mechanism. Here's the lock and here's the key. And as, as it puts the curve back in, the key goes into the lock. And so it tends to be more stable. And the shape of the joints themselves and the ligaments limit the play. It directs the play. And we're going to talk about that soon, too, about some of the function that it does 
that we don't have when we lose those curve systems. But I'm much more worried about when, when a scoliosis case has torsioning because it's creating, over time, death to the neural tissue. It's also putting pressure on the lungs, putting pressure on the heart, which are severe health issues. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what the scoliosis model is and what it, what it looks like. And that, and if you have any other questions about it, please let me know. And remember, at Advanced Neurospinal Solutions, we're here when you're ready to take your life back.